Hello everyone, this is Kesa Lynch, Community Manager for the GrabCAD Print Team, and these are the patch notes for GrabCAD Print 1.27. In 1.27, we added some improvements to the PolyJet and FDM printers. First, we fixed an issue with unsupported material combinations in the PolyJet printing. When printing on PolyJet machines such as the J750, certain material combinations are not allowed in print jobs, such as Vero and Viroflex or using only one of the two RGD materials for digital ABS. Previously, if the printer was loaded with this unsupported combination of materials, the printer would show an error state and printing was disabled, even if the job itself didn't use the unsupported combination. Now users will be able to print their jobs regardless of which materials are currently loaded in the printer, as long as the unsupported combinations are not used in the job. On the FDM side of improvements, we focused on variable width fill and CMB support. In 1.24, we introduced variable width fill for the F123 series and Fortis 900 MC. I'm pleased to inform you that we added variable width fill support to the Fortis 380 MC, the Fortis 380 MC CFE, and the Fortis 450 MC. But you have to make sure that your printer's firmware is updated for this update to work. And lastly, we have improved our CMB file support. When you import a CMB file to be printed on an FDM printer, the correct printer will automatically be selected. Additionally, you will now be able to rotate the model on the Z-axis. And that is all in this month's patch notes for GrabCAD Print 1.27. My name is Kesa Lynch, GrabCAD Community Manager, and we'll see you guys in the next update.